Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another operator that is count. So, what is this count operator and why we need to use this count? Let's try to see. This is one of the uh, operator comes under the mathematical and aggregate operators. So, this comes under this category. As the name itself says, you already understood that count. Uh, what it will try to do is counts the number of emissions on the source and emits that number when the source come completes that means it will give you the total number of values that has been emitted by the source value source observable so it will give you the total count how many values has been emitted by the source observable at the end of the observable when it is completed <coughs> if you try to see count here it takes an optional parameter that is a predicate function we already know that predicate is a function which returns either true or false so if you provide any logic function means so the value uh, the logic whichever returns true those values only will be counted and the remaining false values will not be counted so it will review only the truthy values which are uh, emitted by the observable so the it will give you the count of only the truthy values here if you try to see the parameter it's an optional a function that is used to analyze the value and index index also will be given and determine whether not to increment or uh, not to increment the count or not if returns true to increment the count or false to keep the count as same if the predicate is not provided means every value will be counted if you try to see this marble diagram here is the source diag source ma source observable which is emitting the values a b and c it is passed through the count operator if it is passed through the count operator then here the total number of values that is emitted by the source observable is a b and c three values that is the that is the thing it is emitted three is a value is emitted as a <coughs> output to the output observable here if you try to see count transforms an observable that emits values into the Indian observable that emits single value that represents the number of values emitted by the source observable. So you need to understand that, it, that this count operator makes makes the makes it to emit only a single value that is nothing but the count total count of the values that is emitted by the source value source observable. If the source observable terminates with an error count will pass this error notification to the output observable also <coughs> without emitting any, any value. If the source observable does not terminate so that means if the source observable is going on emitting the values just like the interval function then the count will the, then the count uh, count will lie neither emit a value not terminate so the observable will neither uh, neither way emit a value not terminate it seems this operator takes an optional predicate function as we already discussed so whatever the values it is returns as a true the, those matches uh, those values only will be calculated count will be calculated others will be left alone <coughs> this is about the total about the count operator let's try to see it in the practical implementation so as we already know so let's try to create count operator here and in this operators dot html i am adding the count this is straightforward so i think hope you understood about this one so this is the straightforward operator only it will give you sim simple total number of values that's it total not total number of values so total count what total length of values what are the values that are present in the source observable now here if i try to give count and here if i try to give count operator component right sorry count let's wait so count operator component it is trying to generate what has happened here so let's try to see again yeah we got the value and let's open count operator component ts file now here let's take that source value so as usual source dollar is equal to of of and this one is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 so we have list of values like this and if i pass source dollar dot subscribe if i subscribe to this one as usual it will send you all the values right now i want to know the count of all the values what are present in that one so if i want to know the count of all values what i can do i can do pipe of count I can use directly pipe of count. So here if I try to do count here, I can do the count. So it is it is imported from the RxJS. So as usual it is it should be imported from the RxJS. Now the source of count is there, right? Now if I try to open this in the RxJS basics, if I go to the operators and here in the count, if I try to see the output, we are getting an error. What could be the reason? We are getting an error. Yeah, here we need to save it. I didn't save it in the app routing. Now let's try to refresh it again. <coughs> now if I try to refresh, yeah, here if I try to see the count, so total number of values that are present in that observable, it is giving it as seven. 
now if i want to so here as we already discussed that count operator takes uh, default uh, what i can say default parameter that is predicate function so every time you, it, you will get a value and also you will get the index also and here you can need to pass true or false now i want to know total number of even numbers that are present in the observable values now what i can do val mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 now if you try to see the output if you try to see now it will give you only the total even numbers count of even numbers that are present so it is the even numbers count it is present only three values are present in the source observable not only like this you can also check something like val greater than 10 so there are no the so there are no values that are greater than 10 so here the max the highest value is only 7 so i am checking that they are to get me the total count of values which are greater than 10 now if you try to see the count is 0 now if i try to see here <coughs> greater than 6 means now you will get only 1 the count will be 1 the greater than 6 is only 1 item is there that is 7 now 6 is equal to 6 right so that is the reason so the condition will not satisfy so this is about the count operator it's a pretty straightforward so count takes an optional parameter that is a predicate function predicate function is nothing but the function which returns either true or false that's it so it will calculate the total number total count of numbers total length of numbers how many numbers are present in a particular observable values so when it complete only it will send you the data and also you need to know that count this operator this count operator will wait until the observable is complete when this observable is completed only it will give you the values and if the observable is not completed it is going on emptying the data means then count will never send you the data so it will go on it will never complete and also it will never emit the value so it will emit the value until and unless when the observable source observable is completed only and also another thing you need to remember is if the source observable is emit, uh, is a, uh, if the source observable emits any error so the count operator also will forward that error to the subscribe method this is uh, all about the count operator hope you understood about this count operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you